All right, guys, we are back and welcome to the world of Dragonair Silent Gods, who was also kind enough to sponsor today's video so we can deep dive into Season 2, Fall of Crescent, which went live on December 15th. Now, in this new season, they're introducing a new sandbox where we can explore the mysterious islands of Everken. And of course, there's going to be new strategies and a new optimization experience, making it almost like a brand new game. Now, also in today's video, we have got a mysterious package from Dragonair and I have no clue the contents of this box, so that's exciting. We're of course going to go through some of the storyline in Everken and last but not least, summoning to try to get a new legendary hero. Hopefully, one of the new ones. That'd be pretty cool. So if you do want to get involved in the game, you can download it now for free by simply clicking my link in the description below for Mac, uh, Windows, iOS, Android devices, um, Epic Games Store, Steam, you name it, and it's also cross-platform. So for those that's not familiar with the game already, it's a season-based open-world fantasy RPG that incorporates tabletop mechanisms. And throughout this season, there's going to be so much new features, including new elemental affinities with fire and necrosis, ice and radiance, and lightning and poison. There's new damage types with burning, ice blast, and thunderbolt. A whopping 30 new heroes, including the new kinsfolk in the merfolk. A new dungeon bosses, new equipment and artifacts, and of course some optimization experiences, such as smoother early games, faster growth and seasonal benefits, including the four fairing summons, the season 1 reward shop, and also the season 2 exclusive summoning pool. So I don't know about you guys, but the first thing that I want to do is crack this box open and see what is in here. And I think I should have... oh wait, can I rip this open? I guess I could do this if I'm not speaking, but my mic's kind of in the way. Hello? We're just not going to speak for a little bit, guys. Let's just open this together. I wish I had a better setup. All right, we could probably bring this a bit more closer so you can hear a bit, right? Here we go. How do we open this bad boy? Oh, it's one of those ones. Here we go. Oh. I'm excited. I never received gifts. <laughs> I never received them. Thank you, Dragonair. All right. Ooh, nice. Wait, I need to bring that out. Ooh. Okay, can I get this out? Come on, YST. There we go. Alright, so I don't want to ruin it. Let's do the reveal together. Look at this. We have got a D20 dice. Nice. That is heavy. Guys, look at this. Looks exactly like the dice in the game. It might not be picking it up properly on the camera, but it looks cool. That is heavy, man. When I looked at it, I thought it was going to be plastic. This thing is like full-on metal weighted. Do you know what? That, that's a nice little, nice little aesthetic to put on my desk. I like that. All right, so that's number one. What else have we got in here? It's uh, named as a t-shirt. Okay. XL. I am not XL, Dragonair. <laughs> I'm not XL. Maybe we could do this as um, maybe a giveaway for one of you guys in one of the future Dragonair videos. Maybe give away a t-shirt. Let's see. Well, hopefully you guys can see it through there. I'm not going to take it all out of the packaging because I know it's not going to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Thank you so much. We just got to put this on the floor for now. All right. Uh, what have we got in here? We have got a cap. All right. So we're going to be wearing that today. And I think that's it. But that's pretty cool. Like the dice, definitely my favorite. Ooh, there we go. Throw that over there. Let's see what the cap looks like. Might as well wear it today, right? You know, while we take on Everken and all of that good stuff. So there we go. I had to bend it a little bit just so it's got a bit of a peak, but it looks pretty cool, right? Then we're going to be rocking out the Dragon S swag now. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's dive into the game, right? The first thing that I want to do is I want to go and check out the summons because we have got four fairing summons with this season two exclusive where if I summon 10 Heliolite dice, we are guaranteed a legendary hero. And I'm looking for some of those season two ones. That's what I'm chasing here. And also, we have got these that are actually... Going only season two heroes from these pools from the Odyssey featured ones. So I've been thinking, should I do this one? But then I'm guaranteed with this one. I don't have a crazy amount of dice. But, you know, we might do like one cheeky one there as well. Because I can get 11 by just buying an extra one. There we go. I should get some gems. So let's kick off with here. But who would I want? Let's talk about that first. Because there's so many new heroes. So many. I would say that one of them is going to be Beldel who's a frost hero, who's um, kind of pairing the synergies that I'm going for at the moment. So we just head into the journal, we can see some of them. Uh, gallery, there we go. So if we go into the frost, go down here, 
This is one of the exclusives in Beldell. Really, really cool. And the kind of synergy that I've done with the elements is around Frost, right? So definitely going to be trying to get her. Um, Shinna would be amazing. We'd love to get a Shinna. She's the Merfolk, uh, one of the new factions. And uh, then we've got, you know, the Thunderbolt. We've got Picante. He could be pretty cool, but I've heard that he needs to have some pairing with some other Thunderbolts to optimize his value. And then last but not least, in terms of um, another one, I don't know. I think um, he's pretty cool. Um, we had Never on the channel on one of the other videos, and he really wants him, or her, should I say. And there's some other cool ones as well, maybe um, Castilla. Castilla should be pretty sweet as well. But they're just some of the heroes to give you a glance. But let's get into it. Let's go. Summons. I'm excited, man. I've been holding on to these for dear life. Let's start with a temple. Hopefully we can get two. We don't want to hit no pity today. Let's go. What are we going to get? All reds for the first ones. All right, so that's a dupe. You actually get some conversion rates for your um, duplicates in Dragonair. There we go. We got Hexandra, phenomenal rare. He looks pretty sweet. Never used him. We got a ref and a double ref. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for one summon over here. One time, no whammies. Let's go. Bring it home. And then we're going to go back and get our guaranteed one because, come on. Oh, I really thought it was going to be there. <laughs> but this is a new one. We got Livia. Never had her before. All right. Pretty sweet. I'll take it. Is she based around burn? Buff prohibition. All right. All right. Let's go for this one now. The four fairing summons. Bring it home. We want one of those season two exclusives. Can we get double? Two epics and a legendary. Who do we get? I'm scared. All right. We got a Gulal. Oh, he's new. Garius. Never had him before. Pretty cool. Based around radiant damage. All right. Let's carry this on. We got a free buff. One of the best tanks in the game, guys. Definitely invest if you get him. We got a Grover. Another new one for me. Who do we get? Shinna! I can't believe it. No way. Yo, guys. That, you can't write that. I listed off a few limited heroes from Season 2. And we got the new one in the Merfolk. Lawful Neutral, Shinna with the Ice Blast, I'm hyped, I can't wait to carry on and rank, oh I'm so, that's going to be my next one that I'm investing in, I was saving some of my skill tomes as well, do I invest it into her? So if the hero has Ice Crystals after casting a battle skill, we'll cast it again by consuming one stack of Ice Crystal, when granting the Ice Crystal to all Ice Blast allies, the hero will additionally grant 1.5% attack up that lasts for 10 seconds to all Ice Blast allies, up to 10 times. That is sweet, man. All right, so generates, um, let's put the details on, based on attack. Uh, generates a Frost Bomb after a brief channeling, dealing cold damage to the enemy. Generates an extra Frost Bomb for each stack of Ice Crystal, which we brings to the table. And each time a Frost Bomb hits the target, there is a 50% chance of granting one stack of the Ice Crystal to an Ice Blast ally. So there's a lot of synergy with what we're going on here, right? And, okay, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. We have probably got one of my most wanted. And we've got a new Epic as well, and a new Rare. That couldn't have gone any better. And now I just need another 10 to try and get another one. Because from Season 1, um, we kind of got these summoning tickets, right? Into the Season 2 exclusives. So that's pretty sweet, man. Um, shall we do some Starlights? We can only get rares and epics from these, I guess, and the commons and stuff. Alright, we're just going to speed through these, see what we get. Oh, we got a new one here. A new rare. I'll take it. We'll look at him later. Um, more duplicates. And last but not least, what did we get? Another epic. Ooh, she's Thunderbolt. Okay, we can go have a look at her. All right, so we're out of those. And all right, let's, let's go check out what um, other one we got because that was a new epic, I believe, from this new season. Um, I could be wrong. Let's filter a little bit. Um, let's go into the Thunderbolts. There we go. So there we go. We got two new Thunderbolts. We got Amanda. She looks pretty cool, right? Bit of a steampunk vibe. Inflicts Electrocuted. Oh, wait. That are not inflicted with Electrocuted. In addition, each time the hero at turrets... Okay, I'm going to have to go through and test out the synergies and stuff, but that is pretty cool, right? But she brings in a turret, I think. <laughs> I'm going to have to try this out. We're going to have to try this out. All right, let's go explore the world of Evercane. I've actually saved this for you guys. I had to get to journey level 15, so we can go through a bit of the story together. I don't know what to expect. We're doing this together, right? We're doing this together. Sinking, sinking. 
The cacophony of the land grows with distance and withers, replaced by a din of voices from another world. Roaring behemoths, crooning merfolk, and to peel open your eyes before you see is the magnificent reef. Ooh, we made it into the coral reef, guys. Look at this. So this is the underworld adventures. So this is, oh, that's pretty cool. Because before, you know, you can go on top of it, you know, with the boats and do a bit of a treasure quest and go between the islands, but we've not been underneath yet. Is that Shinner over there? Alright, that's, that's just a merfolk guard. We're just going to go through a bit of the, um, the chatting. I really want to bring in Shinner now. Really want to bring in Shinner. So this is my new synergy, right? So I've decided to replace my starter hero. We've got um, Vinyara. We've got Drist, but he's kind of ranked up at the moment. And then we've got Shinner. I guess for the sake of it, we're just going to bring her in for now just so we could see it, I guess. And then we can bring in our healer. I mean, now we've got a full elemental boost. We can put her here. She's probably going to absolutely get wiped, but I usually got a tank, so I might just put him instead of the other one for now. And this is kind of the synergy that I'm going for, Radiance and Frost. That's my synergy at the moment. But of course, I'm going to be unlocking other ones and forming new teams looking forward into the game. But I just want to show you her animation. Pretty cool. Let's go. Boom. Let's go. I'm definitely investing in Shinna. My first season two was her. I'm so happy. But if you guys do really love the storyline and stuff, you can go through here without skipping. Of course, I'm mindful of your time as well. So we're just going to go skipping through some of this. It's hardly taxing and you can make choices as well, depending on what you're speaking about. Pretty sweet. And now we got ourselves some resources. Go in here. Let's use it. Nice. And now we can go around here and see what's up for grabs. So we've got a chewing turtle. Hello, turtle. He speaks. A jellyfish tasting. All right, so this is some of the D20. We've actually got the dice here, look. It's the same one. It's the same dice, same color. It's green, you can't really tell on here, but we failed. So we've got a nine there. Let me roll my dice and see what we get. We've got a seven, so no better in real life. I'm trash, I know. I know. So now we need to go and uh, protect the gods. Let's see what we've got to fight here. There is a lot of enemies here. And do I really have the synergy right now to take them down with my Shinna, who has no gear on at the moment? I think we're just going to put Drizzy Wording back in, right? <laughs> you know, we need a bit of damage. I'm scared. But I'm definitely investing in her soon. Here we go. We're going to come through. Let's go. Drizzy Wording and slash, slash, slash. Frost synergies, radiance, boom, boom, boom. We haven't got crazy gear at the moment. Of course, with the season reset, um, all of our gear goes back to zero in a sense. We got to start farming up again. But at the moment, there is like a form of you can build up heroes and then reset them to get all your resources back. So you could try out the heroes who's, you know, got the coolest synergy for you. To start off the season, which I thought was pretty cool. And this is just kind of what I stuck with. Man, this is a pretty big map just for here. The Coral Reef. So I guess to wrap up, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Underswell, try and take out this dungeon in a sense of this underworld map and take out some enemies, right? And see if we can clear through this. Here we go. Look at the size of them. But we're going to wipe them out, right? I'm feeling positive. We got our dragon hair on. We have got um, the dice. We have got the dice. D20. <laughs> I still can't believe how heavy this thing is. Like, does that look heavy to you? It is solid. Absolutely solid. I can use it as like a paperweight. I don't know. I can use it as a phone weight, even though my phone's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right. Where are we going? We need to make it to the other side. All right, we've got some more enemies here. Let's take them out. Do you know what? We're bringing Shinna back in. Here, he here she is. Let's just leave her at the back so she's, you know, she's comfy in the back there. She's chilling until we get some gear on. Just want to see some of our animations because she does have some cool ones. Boom, let's go with Inyara, someone I didn't use in the previous season, but playing dividends now. There it is. There it is. Are you not entertained? Take them down. Shoo -shoo. Love Driss Duerden's animations too. Pretty sweet. So how many of you guys are um, starting in with season two? Anyone uh, play from global release? Are you just coming into the game now? Um, let me know. I'm your progression. I'm always interested in that stuff. All right, let's take on this next dude. Oh, wait, he sent me back. Oh, we're sliding under. 
Man, I feel like Lara Croft. <laughs> All right, let's get some potions on. I'm just going to keep them topped up a little bit. They're not like fully tanky and stuff, so why not? Choom, choom, choom. Man, if we get taken out, it's going to be a bit of a roadblock. I'm going to have to go do some goblins. It looks like we're going to get taken out here, which is completely fine. But Tristy Wedding comes in with a slash. Can we claw it back? We have got... Oh, no. Shin is down. We're down to healers and no damage dealers. <laughs> healers, damage dealers. I love the rhyming. All right. All right. I give up. The underworld has de defeated me. Defeated. We need some level 40 heroes. We need to invest in a bit of gear and stuff, you know. Uh, we might be able to... If we put Vorish there, uh, could we have beaten this? Just anxious to know. Because Voris does have a bit of gear on. It's great, but it's decent. You know, for now. Come on! Can we get a cleanse off? Come on, Jillian! She's coming through! Boom! Nice! See the difference with a bit of AoE and a bit of synergy going on? We can now clear something that we couldn't prior, so... You can see the impact of, obviously, gearing your champions is going to have here. Nice! Let's go! Alright, so this is a resurrection point we've swung through again. Let's uh, register this. Oh, so this is opening dis different paths and it's making like a puzzle in a sense. So can you change direction? Oh no, it stops it. Wait, let's see. Do we just go through here? Oh, so we can slide through there. Oh, I can't go back there now. Oh man, this is crazy. This is definitely like some new mechanics that we wasn't used to. Oh. Slid into battle. How about that? Round six, fight. Gonna roll a dice. What are we gonna get? We got a 12. I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, perfect for the Otherworld Horn because in the Otherworld Horn, I'm trying to get a critical success and get myself a free legendary. 18, you guys can't see it, but it was an 18. Pretty sweet. Last one. A two. Yes, I need to practice my dice rolling. <laughs> I need to practice. Come on, let's take them out, guys. Let's take them out. Vorish does some pretty decent damage, I must say, for like, um, kind of support base in a sense, right? He looks scary, though. Wouldn't see him in a back alley. I'd be like, oh, hell no. Get away from me, buddy. All right, ooh. Let's go see what the equipment forging. What we got? Oh, here's, this is the other world horn. This one, I've been trying to get it. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, do it. Eight. Ah, oh, damn it. I told you guys I've been practicing. It's just not working. It's just not working. Um, all right. Um, let's head out of here. And oh, even the, this area here looks changed as well. Oh, pretty cool. Look at that. Fancy, fancy. Um, we've got a bit of resources. This is a bit of the forging. We're getting some gray gear at the moment. We need to unlock it, right? Of course. I'm available when Forge 2 is unlocked. But we will get there over time. Anything in here? Just before we wrap up? Any cool items? I'd love to get this at cart level 4 as well. I just need to go and explore one more area and, you know, I can start getting some other pieces here. And the more you go down, there's a master scroll at the bottom, which is pretty cool. But yeah, on that note, that is going to be all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button. Get involved and download Dragon Air now for free by clicking my link in the description below for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android, Steam and Epic Game Store. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.